I'm proud of you. Well, almost. You're doing all the right stuff. You've got your monitor calibrated. Whether you're using a manual system or you're using a spider, which if you can get one is good, you've got those colors stabilized. That's a very important thing to do when you're working and managing color. If you're letting your monitor warm up for about a half hour to an hour, remember the temperature of your monitor actually influences the colors that it produces. We've got that stabilized. Good thing. You've stabilized your light source. You're always working under the same lighting conditions and you're minimizing external problems like go working in front of a window where you've got morning light and afternoon light and evening light coming in through the window. That's going to change what you see. So you got that kind of under control. You've even cleaned your monitor. They do get dusty. I'd say clean it once a week and then you go pull something like this on me. What is that? Is that a photograph of your Aunt Matilda's bedspread? It's given me a headache. But what it's doing for you, it's beginning to make it difficult for you to do color correction if you're using this as your backdrop. I want you to go on a field trip. Go to a museum or maybe an art dealership. I want you to look at how they display those really nice colorful images, those oil paintings and things. They do it against neutral backgrounds. Neutral or even browns or earth tones are really good to work with. This yellow and orange pattern is driving me crazy and it's going to influence how you color correct. We need to go neutral with this. I know that's boring. You want to come back to it. If you're not color correcting, change it back again. But in order to really maximize and finalize this color, we need to get everything neutral. How do we do that? Well, we're working on Macs and Windows, so we'll do it both ways. We're on a Mac to start with. Let's start here. Come down here and go into, on your shortcuts, go into System Preferences. In System Preferences, I want you to go to Desktop and Screensaver. Now you've got all kinds of stuff. Don't, don't do this stuff, all right? Please, for me, if nobody else, don't do this stuff. Go into Solid Colors and choose something nice and boring. A nice neutral that's a solid gray. You could choose a brown or an earth tone if you wanted to, up to you. This is going to help. How do we do this in Windows? Actually, it's about as easy, but let's check it out. This standard Windows, totally inappropriate. All those blues and oranges and reds and greens, we need to have a neutral background here, just like on a Mac. So again, this is Windows 7. It might be a little bit different if you're using an earlier version. I'm going to get into my control panels, start button, of course and go into Appearance, Change Desktop, Background. Click the button right up here, go into Solid Colors, and do the same thing. Choose a neutral background. It will really help in how your eyes perceive color. Once you've got all of this done, you're sitting down, you've got an image open, you're ready to go. On to the next.